I have a question for you guys. I don't know if it's just me, but every time I buy some pre-war baseball cards, I just have to put on my Yankees hat. <laughs> Do you guys have the same problem, or is that just me? <laughs> What's up, beautiful, amazing people? I know, I know, all you Red Sox fans are gonna be like, no, 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 boo, Yankees suck. <laughs> I know, I get the same feeling with the Giants, it's, I know. But check this out, guys. Nice little share stack of some pre-war baseball cards, finally. I'm trying to uh, booster my pre-war cards, and uh, check this out, guys. Let's see what we got. Boy, I can't wait to read those comments from what I said about wearing a Yankees hat when you buy pre-war. <laughs> oh, man, that was just a joke. Come on, we're all baseball fans. All right, guys, from the newest to the oldest, you guys all ready? Damn, beefing up my pre-war. Little Poison, picked up this little bad boy. Lloyd Wayner, 3.5, check this out. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Man, I love these cards. Here's the back. It's looking good. Pay 45 bucks for this. Looking good. Adding a 1939 play ball. Lloyd Wayner, Little Poison, to my collection. Up next, we have a Yankee, actually. Damn, Lefty Gomez. This is a 1936 Gaudi. Now this is pretty cool because uh, look at this card. Look, look how stunning this card looks. There's only uh, one thing wrong with this and that's this, uh, you know, jizz. <laughs> that's what we call tape, right? Jizz. Yeah, you know, just a little piece of tape. But other than that, man, what a stunning looking card. Damn, and they got a one. Here's the back. I paid $43 for this, but here's the back. A pretty, really stunning card for 43 bucks. A Gaudi, 1960, 1936. Hall of Famer. A Yankee. Oh my God. So are you guys going to kill me now or later? <laughs> Shout out to all you Yankee fans. Woo -woo. Just kidding. I'm a Dodger fan, dude. We don't do that. All right. 1936 Gaudi. Another one. This is Pepper Martin. And this one I paid $6 for. So you can kind of tell why I paid $6 for it. Because, uh. There's a whole lot of rudeness over here. Roughness. Look at that. Here's the back. Paper last. This was probably in someone's binder at one time. Someone's journal, diary. Who knows what where this card's been. But that's that's pretty cool though. When I see cards like this, you know, cards that actually look vintage. You know, it, it's just a story to tell to see how, how far it went before it ended up in my hands. So that's a pretty cool card, Pepper Martin. And then we have some batter ups. This is a product that I've been looking for for a while. A product that I've been trying to collect for a while. We got a Cleveland Indians, not the Guardians, the Indians. Earl Evero. This is this is the uh, batter up, 1934 to 36. The batter ups. These are really cool. I had some of these in raw format before, and uh, they're like little 3D hologram, not holograms, but little 3D the pop ups. They're really cool. And they're really hard to buy, not already popped. So you can kind of see the line right here and line right here. So that one, somebody at one point, you know, popped this card up. But these are really cool. There's a lot of cool ones. This is uh, the Hall of Famer one that I picked up. I paid forty dollars for this, and um, these bad boys they aren't getting any cheaper. So if you guys want to buy some of these, I would suggest you jump on them quickly, pronto, like right now, pronto, because. The last time I checked, you know, these are going like in the $60, $70 ranges now. When I bought this, I paid $40 for it. All right, one of my favorite sets. The Diamond Stars, 1934. Al Simmons. And look at this, man. This is a pour. Um, <laughs> a pour, bro. <laughs> I don't understand the grading. Look how stunning this card looks. Damn. Four sharp corners, no creases. Man, I'd buy these all day. It's like, why even spend your money to get cards graded, man? You can just buy them already graded. But, a poor. Hmm, interesting. Look at this glove. Amazing. Al Simmons. Pay 60 bucks for this. Here's their back. You got some uh, glue residue right here, probably in the middle. But other than that, you know, it looks pretty stunning, dude. I love it. I love this set, dude. I have a good handful of maybe five or six cards of that set. All right, the last card, a 1921 American Caramel. Yeehaw, 
Hugh Jennings. Damn, this is the biggest card of them all. Look at that. Stomping right there. Look at his cleats. Look how clear that photo is. Man, I love the American Caramels. These are awesome cards. Sweet, sweet, sweet. This is a fair 1.5. Whatever that means. It's a 10 in my eyes because I love vintage and I like cards that look vintage. So, here's the back. Oh, I guess I can see that. Yeah, this was not a cheap card. But, I did use some... Um, Crawl tap points out of this, some rewards, uh, free gift cards. I used some of that money to uh, purchase this card. So, a nice little mail day of some pre-war. Now, I'm going to start working on probably getting some more tobaccos, some more strip cards. Um, I definitely want to get some more batter ups. The Gaudis are kind of pricey, so I'm not sure if I'm going to, you know, if I find a good deal. The play balls, man, I'm trying to add some more Hall of Famers to that. But I definitely want to add some more Diamond Stars. So that's my little pre-war mail day to share with you guys. And uh, no offense to any of you Red Sox fans or any other team that hate the Yankees. <laughs> oh, man, you got to love baseball. Well, that's my mail day, guys. See you guys on the next one. Toodles.